What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome to the live stream. Hope you guys are in for a fun time. We're definitely going to have a good time. I'm going to make some music. I'm going to do a little q and <clears throat> Hope you guys tune in, share with a friend, and uh, we can have some fun. I have Logic up in here. Let me know if you guys can see everything, if it's all clear. And let's get started. All right, we'll start right off the top. What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's staying healthy and safe. What's up, Rico? What's up, Shani? What's up, Mauricio? Hope you guys are doing well. All right, let's get started. So we're going straight into logic, as we can see. We're going to set a timer, 15-minute timer. And here we go. Three. What's up, Chris? You know what? Let, let's wait like two seconds for everybody to kind of hop in. Hope you guys are doing well. What's everybody's Thanksgiving plans? Anybody got anything good going on? Hope you guys are staying safe. And all right, we'll uh, we'll get started. 15 minute timer. Ready? So we started with open up splice. So let's see. We got splice. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna go to splice.com. Let's see if we can make it 15 minutes, and then we'll do some Q and A. Splice.com. You guys will be able to hear it. You might not be able to see it, but you can hear it. All right, let's go to sounds. All right, you know what? I'm going to start this over right now because we're actually at the... We're going to Cozy Winter Lo-Fi Hip Hop. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can find anything we like. My bad, mad loud, my bad. All right. That's it, that's what we're using today. Cozy winter kind of scene. That's definitely what we're gonna download that. I'm gonna open up Splice over here, and we're gonna head it right into Logic. Bullet's coming over to say hello, so you can say what's up to Bullet. I'm gonna drag this guy into Logic. And you can say Bullet's saying hi over here. Lay down, buddy. We can import the tempo. Sure, 85 BPM. Uh. Yeah, I uh, know we're making music, buddy. All right, 84 BPM. Let's close this now. What's going on, everybody? Uh, from 14k, I think I'm at uh, I think I'm about a hundred away at the moment. I think it just it just hit like 907 or something like that. Buddy, come on, lay down, buddy. Okay, let's see what we got. We got this piano riff. Oh, love that. What is that? Okay, there we go. Bullet, come on, lay down, lay down, stay. Can you guys hear that? All right. Okay. All right, let's loop that over here. What's up, Rico? All right, I can kind of feel it. I can feel the vibe we got going on. Let's pull up some more splice. Let's see what we got. Bullet. Lay down. All right, let's get some kind of warm kind of sounds. That's a vibe, I like that. We're going with that, simple. I love it when it's the first one, right? All right, let's see what we got now. Make that, put that in time. Can you guys not hear? I'm not playing anything at the moment, let's see. You guys should be able to hear. Yeah, that's sweet. Come on. Make this a little brighter. That's cool. There it is. 
throw some reverb on here. Can you guys not hear anything? You should be able to hear something. Let me guys, let me know what you guys can you guys hear? Let me rewind to see what we That's weird. You guys can't hear the music. Let's see, let's try to fix that. Let's try to fix that. Let me know if you can hear it now. There we go. All right. So we got some Christmas kind of vibes going. I feel like some lo-fi hip hop. But a bum, bum, bum. I'm feeling after the bass. Bum, 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 but a bum, bum. Let's do something like that. Bum, bum, but a bum, bum, bum. Let's see if we could actually find some nice. Uh, what do we got? Let's go to let's go to Spitfire Audio. Let's do some orchestra stuff. Let's see if we get something like that. I'm feeling like uh, I'm feeling like we can get some cool. I want some like acoustic bass. I want some acoustic bass. Where we got the bass? Let's see. Where is the bass section? Here we go. That's it. That's nice. All right, let's see what we got with this. Let's see what we can do. What key are we in? We're in F minor, so that is, what key is that? That is F minor is A flat major. You know what? Let me see if the bullet has to go out. I'll be right back in 13 seconds.
All right, well, Bullet seriously had to pee, so we're all good now. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's go back to this. What do you guys think of that? Let's let's see what that sounds like with a, a finger style bass. Let's just see what that sounds like. Oh, that sounds horrible. Let's try this upright baby bass. That sounds horrible. Let's go back to this. But then let's try an 808. What it sounds like with an 808? Let's go to my sampler. Let's throw some 808 bass. Let's see what this sounds like. Nope. Let's add some drums. Something like that. Something like that. What's up, Jake? Salt House? It's a weird delay. Let's try. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay. Let's try this. Okay, here we go. Come on, it's harder than it looks. Three, four. This stupid delay, I don't know what the delay is going on, but we'll just program it. Let's just program the drums. So let's just go like this, one and two, and where's the kick? Kick is here. Let's bring it to the beginning. One and two and one. Where is the hat? Nope. And two. And we'll just repeat that. Uh, let's keep that sign. That it seems a little too fast. Seems a little fast. That's kind of cool. That's kind of a vibe. Do us some reverb on that snare. There it is. That's nice. A little, let's make that a little lower. Mmm. That's nice. That's nice. Alright, let's see if I can find a really quick hi-hat really quick. Uh, do like a faster hi-hat. Um, drums. 
hats. Let's see, we got. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see what this sounds like at halftime. That's nice. That's really nice. Let's see what kind of synth we have going on. Uh, what do we want for a synth? I'm thinking retro synth. I like the retro synth a lot. What do you guys think? What should we do? Let's go for a uh, deep sigh sound. Wow, that's something, huh? That's definitely something. Take the low end off of that. The high end, I mean. Let's turn the. There you go. Snappy. Mad out of tune. Wow, my bad. There it is. Weird delay. Here we go. Three. Let's try that. Oh, the timer's done, so I guess that's what we got, huh? Let's see, where is this? Let's shift this down. Let's get that timing just a little nicer. Throw some reverb on this guy. It's a jam, man. I like this. All right, you guys got to choose the next instrument. We're, I know we, we're over the 15 minutes, but I'm having, I'm having fun doing this. So we're going to some Q&A in a sec. Um, but in the meantime, what do you guys think we should do for the next instrument? Somebody said bells earlier, so let's try. we can try some bells. Want to shift it up an octave? Let's try that. It's all right, I like that. There are some bells in there, where's the bells we got?
Oh, come on, that's sweet. Oh, come on, here we go, here we go. What's with this weird delay? Like, computer's like tripping on. Let's see, let's close some things up. Maybe, maybe my computer's. Let's see, here we go. Okay. Yo, that's sweet. Okay, ready? Yo, that's sweet. I like that. There it is. Oh, my bad. That's it. I don't want this perfectly quantized night. Oh, that's it. it is Val City vibe. Mm, mm. Mm, come on. Come on, that's sweet. So I think less is better. Let's let's. Try to take that note out. That's it. Let's take this note out too. No, I like the note in there. That's sweet, man. I like that. Let's see what this shit sounds a down knock did. I like both actually. Let's do this. We're gonna we're gonna do octave up and octave down. What's going on? Shift this back up. We're gonna copy this guy. This guy is going to go octave up and octave down. That bass needs to change. Bum, bum. Mm. That's good. I think this needs to be a little quieter. Yeah. Throw some reverb on this guy. Come on. Can this play an octave higher? Oh, come on, let's see. Oh, much nicer. Oh, this can't hit that note. Guess we're gonna have to go. Oh, we can't hit that high note too?
What's up, Isaac? Let's chip that down. This is sweet, man. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. There it is. You know, watch this. Let's see what we're gonna do. Hold on a sec. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna copy this guy, and then we're gonna delete every. Delete all this. Nope. All this. And then we're gonna shift this guy up the octave. There we go. Get rid of this guy. Slightly delayed though. Why? We gotta fix that. Uh. Latency compensation. There it is. Come on, man. Now watch it. Throw, we're going to throw some Dodd and Eighth Note delay on here. It's going to give a really cool vibe. Dodd and Eighth Note has a really cool uh, feel to it. So watch this. We're going to throw some... My favorite Echo, which is the... Uh, Replica XT, so now we this is without it. And it's gonna give this that it's gonna give this extra like flutter. Make it a little warmer sounding. All right, let's do some Q&A while we're making some music. So we got some, so I said we were gonna do some Q&A. Uh, you guys throw some questions in here. I'm gonna make some music while you guys ask the questions, then I'll pause and, and answer the questions and vice versa. So throw some questions in here. I'm gonna keep working on this beat. Uh, maybe start simple, like chopping it up a little bit. Um, but so ask, let's do some questions, Q&A, uh, and I will start answering them as you guys throw them in there. Farted, for, favorite artist right now, I have to stick with the 1975 is probably one of my top artists right now. Melanie Martinez, I could see that. But it's not as like she's got like some, some kind of grunge kind of vibe to her and like a, like a, like a, like a not this seems more lo-fi hip hop. Um no plans for an album, just singles at the moment. I like doing singles. Uh that's that's the way I like doing uh music. It's just the I flow better with singles. Career goals, uh, broad term, to be to to make music that people enjoy and to help. There's a lot of just craziness in the world, and I want to just give a bit more of just like wholesome kind of fun piece in it. Um, that and uh, I mean broad term to be a famous musician, man, for sure. Do I plan on reacting to Grammy nominations? So what? What exactly is that? I, a couple of people have asked that. Um, do you mean grant like the general songs that have been nominated for Grammys, or like is there a specific video that is Grammy nominations? What does that mean? Dream collaboration. I actually posted a video of that. Uh, some of the artists I would love to work with would be Maddie Healy from the 1975, Halsey, uh, and um, the Chainsmokers are artists I would love to work with. Uh, what is the coolest moment you've had in your career as as a YouTuber? Oh man, you guys are firing these questions. I didn't think they'd be this many. I appreciate this. This is cool. Um, favorite? Yeah, I guess I could try to break some of the, do some of the uh, nominee. Uh, that's a great idea, actually. It'd probably be a pretty good idea to do some um, for nominations. Uh, coolest moment? I'm gonna have to think about that one. Um, I don't know about the coolest moment. Uh, 
I've done some panic at the disco. I could try to do a little more panic from Brendan. Um, top favorite five songs. Jeez, that's a tough one. Um, he's so broad. Like, I mean, the fray has to be up there. Uh, you know, some of the phrase songs you just can't like. Um, uh, I don't know. Some of the phrase song nominees is your question. Well, uh, who are some of the nominees? I haven't even looked yet. Dude, I can't even imagine winning a like. Oh, I, let me rephrase that. I can imagine, and I one day hope win a Grammy. That's like that would be that's all time. Like that'd be sick. So how do we want to structure this? Um, so we're gonna structure it like this. Will Duo Lipa win something? I do not know. When did I start my YouTube channel? A long, long time ago. Uh, years ago. And I started heavily posting probably about January of 2019 is when I started like heavily posting. Um, and then even doubled down even more in quarantine. Uh, like I was posting once a day, every day, probably f from January 2019 until March of 2020. Then I, in March of 2020 or April, I started doing like multiple times every day. Uh, I mean, you can see that I am, I'm coming up on close to 2,000 videos on my channel, uh, which is crazy. Um, so what else we got? Um, have I seen the? Have I seen the tier lists on YouTube? You should do a tier list. Of, I have not. Let me just take a screenshot of that. I don't know what the tier lists are. Um, where did I go to school? Uh, I went to Northport High School, being from Northport. I did a, uh, a year of college or university, depending on where you are, uh, in uh, Queens, New York. I went to Aaron Copeland School of Music for one year. Um, I was studying, I believe I was studying music theory, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then I dropped out after my first year and then pers to pursue music full time, uh, because I wanted to write songs instead of papers. Oh, that's interesting. I guess I could, I appreciate that. Um, thank you very much, Armin. Have I heard the artist? I have not heard Nat Natalia and Milk Inc. I have not. Dream venue for a performance, Madison Square Garden, 100%. That is a hundred, being a New Yorker, that is 1000% the dream venue. A hundred, I know that like Wembley's like eight times bigger. Madison Square Garden can only hit, hold like 11,000 people. Um, but that is a serious dream. What's up? Port Elizabeth, South Africa. I have actually been to South Africa once in 2016, February of 2016. I went to South Africa for like 14 days. And that flight from South Africa to New York is a beast. What did you feel when you saw him Um, Well, it has been a long reckon it has been a long journey actually. So it's, it's, it's taken, I mean, I released that song four years ago, four or five years I think it was November of 2016, I think, when I released that song. Maybe it might have been even 20. No, it was 2016. Um, so it was a slow climb. However, the feeling of like my, my the biggest month that I've had on Spotify was I had 60,000 unique listeners, and that was a long. I was probably f f f two years ago, um, and th that was a cool feeling. You know, getting like 25,000 streams and stuff like a, a day was ridiculous. Uh, uh, what are we going? At? Is there? Well, I can't keep up. Is there uh, an artist you used to like, but now you don't like the music? Um, there. I go through phases. I mean, like there are artists that I'm like super huge fans of that I listen to like every day, all day, and then I kind of just don't listen as much anymore. Like I used to listen to Ed Sheeran all the time, every day. And now I still like him, but I'm just, it's, I don't listen to him as frequently. Uh, same thing with James Bay. I was a huge James Bay fan. Um, then he kind of just faded out. I still like his music, and there's still songs I really like. Uh, I started 
making music in about 2010, 2010, 2009. No, 2009 probably. What do I think? When people ask me that, what do I think my genre is? I say, um, I say modern pop, pop rock, modern pop. Um, I don't know. What do you think my genre is? That's a that's a better question. What do you guys think my genre is? Favorite Ed Sheeran song? Uh, Kiss Me is up there. That's a crazy, well written song. Um, honestly, Kiss Me probably is probably up there as one of my favorite Ed Sheeran songs. Yeah, man, the Plus album is unbelievable. I, it's one of my favorite albums of all time, along with, I mean, obviously the phrase up there is stuff, but, like, Kiss Me was is, is ridiculously good, that whole that whole album. Small Bump is unbelievably recorded. Ed Sheeran is such a really good um, alt-pop. I could feel that, alternative pop, yeah. Cause it's, not, it's not like bubblegum pop. Oh, Prince, I, that's a good question. You know, I don't know enough about either's music, to be honest, and you're going to probably be upset about that, but I don't know enough. What type of music do I like? I will listen to most of anything uh, because I like learning and stealing ideas from different types of music. Um, I like pop, though. Um, I like rock pop. I feel that. I'm a big Lau fan. Actually, Lau was my wedding song. We used a cover of Lau, Gavin, Mc... Gavin McCall's cover of Lau's I Like Me Better as our wedding song. Opinion about the best part of me. Oh, most underrated 1975 song. That's tough. Ah. I don't know. I like America is pretty sick. That that song is pretty wild. Big fan of Laney too. Big fan of big fan of both their sounds. Actually, Laney was heavily, heavily, heavily inspired. Uh, my song uh, "I Know I Shouldn't." All right, keep those questions coming. We're gonna we're gonna check the structure of what we have right now. bass right there. Do I have a favorite uh, song that I'm listening to at the moment? One that I keep listening to over and over and over again. I don't know. I don't know. I have not heard of KDA. I mean, I might, I might react to some, break down some some Indian songs. I have no, I just don't know anything about it, so I don't even know where to start. Movies and soundtracks. That's a pretty interesting idea. Uh, it is a crazy thought. I think about that all the time. That people in yeah, all these different parts of the world are hearing my music. Advice to a young producer would be just produce music as much, produce as much as you can. Try different things and try different styles of music. Um, that my birthday is March 8th. I will be turning 26 on March 8th. Let's try reversing these sounds. Let's go edit, reverse. Let's see what the reverse piano sounds like. Sounds terrible, I can tell you that. Let's undo that reverse. I appreciate the uh, the uh, the request. I can try and take a look. All right, very cool. Thanks for the idea. If I could choose a pop artist to produce a song, like as in do, Mauricio, do you mean that if I would have produced a song, or they would have produced my song? Uh, what would you, what do you mean? Ah, Chris is digging deep with Drink with Jacob. Um, you're welcome. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. So if, 
so answer that question, Mauricio, first. Do you mean me produce their song and then produce my song? And Chris, I my favorite Drinking With Jacob episode would have to be the one with the landscaping movie buff. That is one of my, it's just really fun and funny, I personally think. Uh, the one that I learned the most about that would be tied for the narco cop and the, uh, the CBD oil guy. I don't know if you've seen that one yet. If I could produce a pop artist song, I mean, this is going to sound cliche, but uh, I would definitely be down to produce a song for Taylor Swift. I feel like, you know, she's just a pop icon, so why wouldn't I? That'd be crazy. Uh, first doll I used was uh, GarageBand. I used it for a long time. And then in 2012, maybe, for two years, then I, 2012, I went to Logic Pro. Hold on one second. I just got to answer this phone call really quick. Hey, what's going on? All right, I got two minutes and then I gotta head off. Uh, celebrity lookalike, I would personally say that I look like uh, Josh Peck. I think that we have very similar features and there, there are some photos where I'm like, wow, this guy, we, I think we could look together. Uh, so we got two more minutes and then we're gonna hop off. So anybody have any questions? Two minutes. I gotta, I'm terrible with time, so I'm gonna set a two minute timer. Let's see what we got. Okay. Two minute two timer, minutes what do we got? First exposure. Oh, I appreciate that. I, I'm glad you like that Kygo reaction. Uh, Selena Gomez, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Do you think collaborating with... Oh, I'm, I'm in the works of trying to set up several collaborations, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, do pineapples belong on pizza? I'm down for pineapples on pizza. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. I am, I, I'm a creative man. I'll try anything. I could, I don't do recipes. I I, uh, I I try anything. Uh, you write as well as you, if I. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate that compliment. Um, I it depends on the song. Usually, it's usually. I mean, in these cases where I'm just making the, the beats, like I'll I'll make the beat and then try to write to the beat. But sometimes, very often, I'll just write the um, the, the lyrics and then try to fit fit it over a beat. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal, I've gotten that too, actually. That's funny. I have gotten that. Um, all right, we got forty five seconds. What other questions we got? And then I'll, I'll hop off. Forty five seconds. What do you guys think? Any other questions? I it's fun hanging out with you guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for and more importantly, thanks for supporting the channel. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. My my favorite genre to produce would probably be the, the music I like to make, which is just like the pop. I do I like acoustic like guitar and stuff. I like that a lot. Uh, favorite uh, first CD. Gosh, I, I don't know, but I can tell you the first couple songs I bought on iTunes was was when I was in fifth grade, um, and it was like, I think I Like to Move It, Move It was on it, it was Photograph by Nickelback, I think it was Temperature by Sean Paul, uh, I think those were the first couple songs I bought on iTunes, uh, actually my parents bought them, I, was, I think I was allowed to like buy five songs at the time. Uh, yes, you can expect a couple more Bleachers and a bunch more Midnight, I think we got a bunch of those planned. Uh, for you guys. So, uh, yeah, cool. All right, I'm gonna hop off. Hope you guys had fun. 
I'm going to try to keep these up. Have a very, if you're in the U.S., have a very happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. I keep forgetting that i got to end it over here. I would like to try and collab if, if we can get work it out with Blake McLean. Uh, peace out. Uh, you're very welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mauricio. Have a great day, you guys. See you, uh, see you later. Appreciate it. Let me... Peace.